This episode of Splitting Hairs is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. If you're planning on opening or renovating a salon or barber shop, then you want to partner with Minerva Beauty, the trusted equipment provider for over 175,000 beauty industry businesses worldwide. Scrolling their website, you'll be blown away at the wide range of designs, styles, colors, and variety and price points offered, truly suiting the equipment needs of every individual. And if you don't believe me, go visit their massive showroom and warehouse in Monroe, Georgia to experience everything their equipment provides firsthand. Minerva's warehouse carries the largest in-stock salon equipment inventory in the world, so most items are available for same-day pickup or shipping. So get started by shopping today at MinervaBeauty.com and use the code FSE10 at checkout to get 10% off Minerva brand items. Exclusions apply. Splitting Hairs Free Salon Education Podcast starts now. Featuring Matt Beck, Christina Cavalcanti, Brian Hare, and Carly Wareheim. T- t- today's episode is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode four of Splitting Hairs, the Free Salon Education Podcast. I'm here with Brian Hare. Hey. Carly Wareheim. Hey, yo. Christina Cavalcanti. What's up? Uh, and I'm Matt Beck. So, welcome to the show, guys. Uh, today, we're going to be focusing on. Uh, I don't know why I just said that. That's literally. It's not a class. It's a tutorial. <laughs> uh, and you know what? We can focus. Uh, we'll yeah, focus. Yeah, we'll focus. Okay. <laughs> shout, shout out to uh, Minerva Beauty uh, for sponsoring the show. Um, so, I want to make sure that you guys are subscribing to the channel because we did get uh, a good amount again, of listens and watches, Heck but yeah. staying consistent. So we got to grow the show. Uh, so make sure um, if you can hit the like, subscribe and notification bell. So you know when we go live, so you guys can join us. We got quite a uh, few people on here. We're going live vertically today. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, see if we can get some more people. And then also subscribe on Apple Podcasts and Spotify uh, so you can listen to us. That's probably the best way to do it uh, on your way to work or whatever. So um Let's see. Uh, so comments from last episode. We had a few people uh, uh, commenting. Uh, make sure that you let us know what you think of the show. Um, somebody said, my haircuts are the same for everyone. So we were talking about uh, the gender neutral pricing, uh, which we moved to in the salon. Um, and so they were saying that their haircuts are the same for everyone. They book an hour and it's rare that it takes them longer. So um, I guess they just take an hour for every Yeah, every I've seen places that do that. Like yeah. no matter who it is, they make sure that there's enough tailoring that it takes the full hour. So that, I mean, that's a, that's a solution to the problem. Yeah, for sure. Um, Chris, can you turn my mic up just a little bit? Number two. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Num- uh, and then Diana Poi Thress uh, says she's enjoying hearing y'all do the podcast again. Uh, thanks for the education knowledge you give stylists through your tutorial videos, podcasts, and shears, et cetera. Y'all rock. So thank you to, to her. And then um, somebody said gender-based, uh, Jessica said gender-based pricing is illegal in the state of California, which I knew that. That's been a long time, I think, like that. I don't think I knew that. You didn't know that? No. Yeah, so they've been, they had to, um, and I think that was more just, you know, so men and women aren't paying different um, but I know even back in the day, I think I went to a Robert Cromine salon and they they didn't have a different price. It was just haircut. Oh, so, California. Um, so, yeah, so that's uh, that's kind of what happened on the show. How's it been? Uh, how do you feel like the conversation's been since we shifted that? I mean, I know a lot didn't change really. And that's what I want people to understand um, that we moved to. A, it wasn't a big shift. Like No, it wasn't. But. It's <clears throat> like it, I think my biggest thing, the biggest shift I had is it just made me kind of proud that we're doing that now. Yeah, like yeah. I reached out to the mother that I mentioned on last episode just to let her know like that this is, this is how we're doing it now. We had the conversation and we realized, yeah, this is the good way to go. And she said it brought a tear to her eye and she was very happy to come here. Yeah. Nice. And yeah, so, and that's what people need to realize is when we were charging, we were charging kind of based on time already, but we were just labeling it. Yeah. And now you just take away the label, but you're consistently still working on a time frame right. of if it's a 60 minute haircut, you're charging this. And if it's 30 minutes or whatever, you're charging a different, different price. So, 
Um, let us know what you think in the comments uh, about that. And if you have made that shift or if you're thinking about it, let us know uh, on there. We can guide you through it. Yeah. <laughs> we have a couple people, like a couple more people in the chat. Heck yeah. Selena from Pennsylvania. Hey, so are we. Um, <laughs> Sally, Laura, Ivy's watching from the Philippines. Love that. And Very Misty, cool. shout out to a new to the broadcast member. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Shout out. Welcome. Sweet. <laughs> um, so first uh, thing we're going to talk about today, Beyonce showing off a bunch of hairstyles on the internet yesterday. Uh, she's going to be on the cover of CR Fashion Book. Um, thought this was interesting. I guess she was on the cover, uh, a decade ago. And Mm -hmm. so now she's coming back. She, you know, she's launching the the hair care line, which we are going to talk about. You've used it now. I've started. You've started. I just got my spray bottle yesterday so I can do the deep conditioner this weekend. Yeah. I think our goal on this show is to not ever really just throw opinions out for no reason. So doing a little more research on it. I ordered mine. (laughs) You Uh did order it? Yeah. So... I'd like to use it. They, You can go in and read on the website the products, and then you can also do a quiz. So I took the quiz, and I'm um, going to get the products that they recommended. Oh, sweet. Nice. My mic is going in and out, echoing. It's echoing? Yeah, unless it's my headphones. It's your headphones. Okay, sweet. Yeah. As long as it's not anything you have to edit out later. All yeah, right. that's why I didn't want to give you those headphones. But All right, we're um, good. It's okay. your inner voice. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like, don't say <laughs> Um, quiet that inner saboteur. <laughs> so do you want to show the images um, yeah. of what she was putting out there yesterday? So this is one of my favorite ones, um, I thought. So I thought I did. I do like uh, the shortness of it. I like the kind of moldy feel of it. Uh, she said she always wanted an asymmetrical haircut. So I thought that was interesting. What do you guys think? I I like this one. I Looking at all of them, it's funny. What it made me think is like, wow, she looks good in all these looks, all the colors, like the red looks really good. And it just made me immediately think back to Charlie's Angels 2, the movie, like from early 2000s. Because I remember in that movie, they put them in different colored wigs. And I thought, wow, like when you get the color right, anybody can be any color. Like no one would have ever pictured Beyonce as a redhead or Mm -hmm. Lucy Liu as a blonde. But if you get the color right, like that, it's the biggest argument when someone's like, "Oh, I could never be a blonde," or "Oh, I could never be a redhead." Anybody can be anything. You just got to get the color right. And I think this was a great example because these are wild looks that are so not what you would ever see her in. Yeah. But if you do it right, I feel like it's it all about off. the tones of the of the color and yeah. also their makeup. Yeah, the makeup. Also. Like that purpley mauvey color looks great with what that is, you know, and her skin tone and everything. But yeah, I agree. Yeah. She looks good in anything. Well, Bay. because she's smart. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sure there was probably a wig or two that they tried for this photo shoot. They're like, mm, these photos will not see the light of day. <laughs> what do you think, Carly? Um, I, I mean, I like him. I, I'm curious to see with her hairline, like, how involved is she? That's a big thing when it comes to, um, like celebrities when they start doing like makeup brands some celebrities are very like hands-on in their brand others just kind of slap their name on it and call it their hairline so i'm just curious to see like how much how involved she is in with her i definitely feel like she's been so i mean it's the launch of it so Mm -hmm. obviously she's going to be more more present about it but um the fact that her mother did own a hair salon and that kind mm-hmm. of background, I feel like m- makes me think she'll be more involved. But I, I mean, think she's so. Obviously and I think culturally too, her hair has yeah. been a big deal yeah. for her. Exactly. Um, and when you're on the and website, then, it feels, it doesn't feel like. Just so Susan's like Beyonce wears wigs. So it's never her real hair. We, we see, but we're, we all know that we're what? just saying yeah. what we think, <laughs> what we think looks well, good. On Where's her. the receipts? <laughs> well, I just didn't know if anyone was confused that we thought that she actually did that to her. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We, we know, we know that. Uh, I think it's cool. That's why when you said that she said she was one at asymmetrical, I'm like, then why didn't she? Yeah. <laughs> well, when she was a kid. Oh, got it. Yeah. Got yeah. It. So now she can, cause she can, you know. No, but what I was going to say to Carly's point, like when you go to the website, it doesn't feel like a beyond, like it's not front and center that this is a Beyonce thing, but yeah. it still kind of has that vibe that, I mean, not that I think she's like 
in the lab with beakers right. doing like right. chemistry. Yeah. But it it definitely feels like a passion project. Nice. Like the vibe that it gives. Yeah. Nice. And I like the name of it too, Sacred. Yeah. Um mm-hmm. it looks it's cool. Um we have a couple more looks. Mm-hmm. Uh, this yeah. one. See, like. come on. Like yeah. you get that right. Anybody could be a redhead. You just gotta get the red right. Yeah, she, she has like goes, the gold on with it. I yeah. feel like it's just complimentary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good lesson for everybody. Like what you guys were saying a little bit ago, like just matching that all up, it, it makes a big difference. I actually mm-hmm. just had to do that when I took the pink and the dark out of my hair. I had to like go buy different makeup because oh, yeah. the makeup that I had was dark to complement the dark hair. And now I'm lighter and I had to go like buy browns and golds and all that. So, yeah. But I like it. Looks good. Sweet. And then there's one more. It took Love me a minute to outfit. realize that it wasn't the same as the other one. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, wait, this one's mm-hmm. blonde. All right. Yeah. The one's way more ashy. Like, well, it was just like the over the shoulder, like long and then nothing. Mm -hmm. I was like, is this? No, it's not. It's different. Okay, cool. I like (laughs) it. Good for her. It is funny. Like, when we, when like any brand puts out collections, they usually have like a brunette, uh, a redhead, and a blonde. It's just funny that she's all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not funny. Because if anybody can be, it's going to be. Exactly. Exactly. Just showing. I, I like the visual of that even more. Like, you know, yeah. The point that we're trying to make here, I guess. Those were all pretty editorial looks, too. Yes. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, I one, prefer- no one's coming into the salon saying, could you do this for me? <laughs> no. I love her like honey blonde. Just, mm-hmm. I don't know. I just love her big hair. Yeah. Cool. You just love big hair in general. Mm-hmm. Big I do. summer blowout. Which is <laughs> a perfect segue into the next one. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Um, this is a this is just a funny video. Um, you know, I just to kind of brighten your day a little bit, but it's uh, this toddler goes viral <laughs> for her epic Golden Girls inspired hairstyle. She's so cute. you can see her. Uh, <laughs> and then Chris, that second, um, see the sound things that are happening at the bottom of the screen. Mm-hmm. That second one, if you turn it down, that's the music to that video. Just it stopped already, but um, oh, we'll sing it. Benji. Oh my god! And her name is Evelyn. That's so cute. Aww. <laughs> I found this account. Did you guys look at the account? No. Okay. So I didn't want. I just wanted it to be pure, and that's it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So maybe we should keep it pure. But it's just funny because they went from like, I think it's her parents, you know, who had an account and they okay. were making videos and and being funny and stuff, and then it just explodes. Like the first post of her and this, and then now they're posting like uh, the last seventeen videos have been Golden Girls theme and. Her doing something. Yeah. Well, when different. you find your thing. Yeah. And they all have millions of views. So. I loved watching Golden Girls and 227 and Amen back in the 80s. I don't know if any. I still watch I Golden Girls. Me love- too. Like, I forget. <laughs> no. It like bounces. From, oh, I'm serious. <laughs> like, it bounces from streaming services and I'm, I always follow it and we'll start at the beginning. And it's just one of those, like, you can put on any episode and let it run. They had good lessons that they were teaching back in the 80s that still hold true today. It was a wonderful bonding thing for my grandmother and I because there's not much that we could agree on to watch together. I'm like, all right, Golden <laughs> Girls, let's go. We'll both enjoy this. There you go. All right. So um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. We uh, did. Oh, yeah, we did. It was funny. Okay. So quiz time. Um, oh, you- I forgot oh, about man. this. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. Skipped over that in the, in the outline. Christina has the quiz question. Sorry. I... Had it. <laughs> okay. So. We'll just bop. So we've decided also that this I, is going to be an ongoing score. Uh, oh, no. So right. Christina was closest to the answer last week with 1940. So we're playing Price is Right rules. Sort of, yeah. On on some things. It depends on the question. Or I can just do the questions every week. I don't care. You guys can play. It's up to you. No. Okay. So, in 1964, the Beatles came to the U.S. from their native England. Their music became all the rage. So did their hairstyle. That inverted bowl cut was called what? All right, so I know I've been telling you guys about it, but Mevo on Tour is hosted by Mevo Salon and Spa Software. It's an in-person series of beauty and wellness business conferences spanning five major U.S. cities in 2024. 
Mebo on Tour welcomes spa and salon owners and managers to learn from some of the industry's best, network with like-minded professionals, and walk away with newfound ideas and inspiration to implement in their businesses. Upcoming conference locations include Fort Lauderdale, New York City, Los Angeles, Chicago, and Dallas. The conference series actually kicks off today, March 4th, in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, uh, with an all-day event full of peer-to-peer networking, interactive, strategic sessions, on maximizing profit, creating unforgettable guest moments, overcoming industry challenges, and more. So make sure you don't miss out on the next date coming up for more information about Mevo on tour or to register for upcoming conference. Please visit Mevo.com slash Mevo dash on dash tour. Now back to the show. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like if you hadn't asked me, I could have told you. (laughs) Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, I probably would have said invert or like not inverted. I just would have said a bowl cup, but or now I'm like mop top or something. Yeah. That sounds right. Hey, uh, yes. Oh, was I right? <laughs> Let's go, Brian. <laughs> mop I mean, top. Mop top <laughs> yeah, I call it the Justin Bieber, but that's just because. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. They, I don't think in '64 they called call it. That. That. I don't think his parents were born in '64. <laughs> nice oh, job, that's Brian. Funny. Hey, cool. it, All right, so. Look, I got I got a tally. I'm gonna Tracy, retire. While Tracy I'm ahead. was the first one to get it. Wow, um, Tracy. Yeah, right. I can't Tracy see the chat. So, <laughs> hey. and I, hey. yeah, it's, it's good to see you guys again. Uh, it's been a while. All right. <laughs> um, all right. So, third thing we want to discuss today: dermatologist explains why switching your parting is good for you. I know Brian's going to be very excited about this <laughs> uh, story. Passionate. Uh, yeah, passionate about it. Um, so you can take that middle part and now shift it because it's actually healthier for your hair. Basically, they're saying that the more you switch your part, the less consistently you'll be blow drying and the sun will be hitting that spot and all this stuff. They're saying switching it up is actually good. What do you guys feel about that? I totally agree. Like I read that and all of their points, I was like, yeah, like Mm -hmm. a a dermatologist is actually giving good hairdresser advice because it is true. Like if it's always going that way, you're always going to style it that way. It's going to get the most attention, however you're doing it, whether it's blow dry or flat iron or whatever, it made me laugh because I had a client, we had to switch her part because she was real into the money piece. And after a while, that hair could not take the money piece bleaching anymore. She's like, so what do we do? I was like, oh, I'll switch your part to the other side and start over. And so we did. And then she had a, a great full bang again with a nice and fresh money piece <laughs> while we just sort of grew out the little... <laughs> old money piece yeah so there's lots of benefits to it yeah (laughs) yeah and they're saying like that's why when people are constantly pulling their hair back yeah Mm -hmm. stretching it out that's why it kind of uh it's just the consistency of of constantly doing the same thing over and over again it wears down on the on the hair so who's the model naomi campbell that like that started to happen like crazy too and when she like showed it like how far back her hairline was from Doing that for so long was like whoa. Tara Banks, right? No, I don't think I. I <laughs> no, like, she just had a. Yeah, she her just hairline had a forehead was like me. Yeah, okay. I don't <laughs> want to think... be hate on Tyra because she's cute. <laughs> no, she'll she'll come for you. <laughs> no, um, I just don't want to do that. No, in I feel like it was Naomi Campbell, and it, mm-hmm. it was a whole like thing about that back in the day. But I. That's what Tracy said. I've seen a woman that must have had her middle part since the '60s, and she had a three-inch scalp showing. Oh. Ah, mm. see, I have a client. I'm trying to get her to move her part from the center because I can always find it because it's tan. Mm-hmm. Like just well, it's that's... constant. Like it's the you know your scalp is a different color than your face. Yeah, her part line is the same color as her face because she's always worn it in the center. And I'm like, that's what I was mm-hmm. gonna say. Like I always have to remember to bring a hat or put sunblock on because my part will being outside my middle part just gets sunburned. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I just like looking back at like old pictures and seeing how far my part has come more <laughs> towards the center. Um, so who knows? Maybe in like another five years, it'll be like full center part. Because right now it is just off center. But. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get you there. Yeah. <laughs> God, that reminds me. One, th- The worst scalp sunburn I've ever had in my life. When I was 18 years old, we went to Disney World and like spent very little time like getting ready in the morning. So I would just like, while it's wet from the shower, just throw a whole bunch of gel in it. And then we go out in the sun all day. And you know, like when you just wet gel hair and like run your fingers through it, it just has that weird pattern. 
I got so sunburned mm. everywhere in between all the parts of my curls that there was no way to like style it that that wouldn't happen the next day because it was just like lightning strikes all over my scalp <laughs> of the worst <laughs> sunburn. It was so bad. Oh, Ouch. So, so don't do a that. Couple pictures, I guess we'll just throw up there. Taylor Swift uh, is is making it cool, I guess, is Thank what they're you. saying for putting it on the side part. And then also Olivia Rodrigo. Rodrigo, Rodrigo yeah. yeah. I'm glad. I'm Look, I love a center part. Uh, I mean a center part. I love a side part. Mm -hmm. Also because I like bigger hair. And like it's easier to get bigger hair when you've got a side part and you're piling more hair yeah. through the center of the head. Like I, I'm happy. I'm here. I'm here for it. And I'm happy. I'm hair for it. <laughs> <laughs> Brian hair for it. <laughs> All right. And then uh, last thing to talk about today is uh, the Rachel is trending again, thanks yes. to Zendaya. Yep. So um, <laughs> it's it's funny because I did this, the Rachel haircut maybe last year because they were saying that uh, Haley Bieber mm -hmm. um, was wearing it, which... And hers was similar to Zendaya's here. And I don't think they're very similar to the Rachel at all. And it, I mean, they are. They have a, an appearance of it. It's the same length. But the style is a little bit different. It's definitely more naturally worn. Right. I just feel like the article, this article picked the worst Rachel hair look. But I because think the initial Rachel hair that I remember was a little bit more like Zendaya. Okay. Um, how it kind of flipped mm -hmm. but i did like the flip and was down to her shoulder that's what i think okay. is so interesting about these two images is how the styling of it modernizes it like that picture of jennifer aniston like with the makeup and the pin in the hair because i was looking saying wow look at that giant bump in the back like that's what keeps it from being modern but then in the zendaya picture she's got the same bump in the back but because of how it's styled, it just makes it so much more modern. Like not bringing it in like that. Yeah, because yeah. like that's that's the well, it has back longer. There. It's like longer in the front still. Mm -hmm. The the layers. Yeah, it doesn't you have know? quite as many layers. But Rachel's was a little bit longer than what this picture is showing, and did that whole flip out. Yeah, I think this is a bad picture. Maybe this is like the initial cut or something. Mm -hmm. The Jen day she got it done. The day, yeah. Maybe so. she has this now on set. Jen. Oh yeah, she got her hair cut yeah, now. I was surprised I love, you didn't put it. Oh, I didn't know. I love it. She, yeah, it um, looks really good. She presented Adam Sandler's award on the People's Choice Awards and um, mm -hmm. that was when she's I saw it. Again. And Yeah, I was nice. like, I love it because I feel like she's had long hair for so long. So when people want it and they go into the salon, Matt, how would you tell them to describe that haircut now? So um, the way that I would go about that haircut um, is really... So the layering in the front, obviously you're going to be pulling if you separate front and back, right? So I would say it's a layered front face frame, short face frame. Um, I would say that it's shoulder length and then, but I definitely would like shorter pieces in the front. I guess I would describe it in that way. And then um, I think probably more square layers in the back ish because you want them to kind of be balanced across in the back. But I don't think you want like a rounded look. Yeah, there's it. definitely a lot more structure yeah. to that than yeah. than the softness. Like I think it, that's it, kind of what makes that that haircut is is that it is very structured. Yeah, and it falls and looks like that. It doesn't look PC and textured. Right. Um. So you, it's like it's basically a beauty school haircut. Yeah. Done to a T, and then it falls like that. It's yeah. kind of and it then, doesn't have a lot of flow. It it sits. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I was trying to find. So that's it. how to describe. When you yeah. <laughs> go into your hairdressing, I want a haircut that just sits. I don't want it to flow. I was trying to find the the modern oh for people. So is this kind of what we're saying? This yeah yeah mm. okay. I I can show it on the screen later in the edit, but um okay. I like I like that haircut. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's definitely um like a very tame haircut. Like that's a haircut that I feel like everybody asks for. Is yeah. that so I don't. But I, I wouldn't compare that as much to what they're trying to say. I think maybe more of the Rachel that Christina was talking about that she liked instead of this. They keep showing this picture of this cut. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 
All right. Cool. Cool. So we need to spin the wheel. Would you say Darlene just wanted to know if it yeah. actually helps if the client brings a pick of what she wants? That's a great yes. question. A hundred percent. Yes. Because I, if I've learned anything behind the chair, it's that no two people describe the same thing the same way. Yeah. Whether it's a cut or it's a color, I want to know where your head is at, bring the picture, and then I'm going to ask, okay, what about this do you like? Because there's usually in a picture like one thing that they're like, oh, I want it to fall across my face like that or I want it to hit there on my shoulders. So pictures are the best. But make sure you're bringing a picture that is like your hair type because there have been times where like someone with pin straight hair has showed me super curly cut and I'm like, you're not going to get this because you don't have that hair type. So I try when over the years, like I will recommend to my clients certain celebrities to go look for. Yeah. Like Mm -hmm. I, the biggest one that I do is when I have clients in that same situation where it's very straight, very, very fine. Like I'll send them, I'm like, go look up pictures of Gwyneth Paltrow. Like Mm -hmm. she's got hair like you find something that you love and then let's go from there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's good. That's a good point. And bringing in multiple pictures is also good. Like if if you have a few that um, you like certain things of, because you don't have to, have an overall style and then also multiple angles of one person's look that you like. And then also showing multiple pictures can um, help with the fact that sometimes we see a hairstyle from the front and we think we like it. And as a hairdresser, we know we can go in and cut that haircut, but you might not actually like the way it looks on her uh, when she was doing when she was walking on the street this other day right. or like you might see it more in real life. So if you find a specific thing, especially a magazine cover or something like that, that you like look up the person's actual hair in real life too, so that yeah. you can see if you actually really like that. Their cut. celebrity stylists are really good at styling yeah, yeah. haircuts. Yeah. And be ready to uh, <laughs> hear that they have a lot of extensions in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Yeah. My clients, wait, they do. Yeah. No yeah. one, if you've ever liked someone's <laughs> hair, they have extensions in. Yeah. No, <laughs> Not everyone. Everyone. For the most part. A hundred percent of the time when you're like, oh, their hair is so great. It's not all theirs. No one, <laughs> no one's that lucky yeah. to be famous and have full hair. Mm-hmm. Plus Except like Topanga. Matt's really good at cutting and we were looking at photos of like a haircut he should do or just like what's going on now online. And I kept saying, oh, I like that one. Oh, I like that one. Oh, that one's cool. He's like, you really like, I think it was square. Mm-hmm. And he's like, you do not like round haircuts at all. <laughs> yeah. And I said, but I think you gave me one. He's like, I think I did. Probably, yeah. I think you've had all of them at this point. Yeah. <laughs> all right, what cool. What was the name of it? The Mop Top? Let's do that one, Christina. Oh my gosh. What's up, guys? Let me tell you about formulate.co slash Matt Beck. If you're looking for customized formulation, something that fits your hair and skin type perfectly, then go to formulate.co slash Matt Beck, take the free quiz, figure out what's going on with your hair, and get that perfect formula sent straight to you. And uh, it doesn't stop there. You have your own personal chemist that gets assigned to your account so that you can make adjustments to your formula as your hair sees fit. We don't need the same shampoo and conditioner in the summer as we do in the winter. Conditions are different. Your skin acts different. Your hair acts different. So make sure if you want to have perfect skin and hair, go to formulate.co slash Matt Beck and sign up today. All right. So yeah, I ask people to, to comment every week. If you comment in the YouTube video, or if you leave a review on Apple Podcasts, then um, you can uh, spin the wheel. That's the best way. And then if there isn't anybody in that, then we got to go to the live chat. Uh, So let's go uh, with the live chat. Who wants to spin the wheel? First one to say, I do, is going to (laughs) spin. We have 75 people listening in live today. That's awesome. That's pretty sweet. Okay, while I'm waiting, Tina Yates says she loves hearing... Oh, Misty. Misty. Misty's spinning the wheel, but she does say... Tina says she loves hearing our point of view. Just so, you know, shouting out everyone. Awesome. Misty (laughs) has uh, the opportunity to win a free formulation from formulate.co. 
Um, also, Minerva Beauty is giving away um, a Thera gun from their website. And then Mevo 2 is giving away tickets to their Mevo on tour. Uh, that's all over the country, so you can win that. And then we have a bunch of things from Shop FSE. Brian, <laughs> do your thing. You can win Brian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> if you could only hear the music and see yourself at the same time. <laughs> A comb. Awesome. A comb. Yes. Let's go. A little comb package, yes. comb clip package from Free Salt Education. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Combs. <laughs> That's my favorite comb. That was the longest squat I've ever done. I love our combs. I like the colors. They're mm-hmm. pretty. Me too. Uh, <laughs> D- um, Brian, Darlene said you made her day. Aw. Was it the squat? <laughs> it was everything. <laughs> Janelle said, hey, from Australia. Misty said thanks, and she'll send that info over. Oh, cool. I love Janelle is such an Australian name. Aussie, Aussie, like, Aussie. Like, that just feels Australian. Aww. I love that. I don't know. Janelle? Yeah. Maybe I knew another Janelle in my life that was also from Australia. I knew a Donnell, not a John. From Australia? Nope. Oh. oh. <laughs> from Woodhall. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. That's it. That's the all show. Right. All right. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. Oh, all right. my gosh. So uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. If you tuned in live, thank you so much. If you're watching this later, then uh, you can tune in live with us every Friday uh, around 10 a.m. And um, make sure you subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, uh, so you can listen to us on your way to work. That's the best way, uh, especially, you know, Fridays being on live is a little bit hard for hairdressers. So uh, we did have quite a few people on the chat today. So thank you, guys. Uh, you can follow Brian on Instagram. I, I almost well, forgot which arm it was. <laughs> Hairstyle. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to get it in there for you. Whatever. <laughs> that's fine. Just find me. In the regular video, it'll be <laughs> yeah, <it's> different. <laughs> uh, Carly? Hair by Carly C. And then everything for us is at Free Salon Education. Uh, again, thank you guys, and we will see you on the next. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh. Misty, just tell her the email again. Info. Oh, info <laughs> at freesaloneducation.com. And Tracy, we have we have her email and everything. Maybe you got her mixed up with something else. She's still waiting for her package, so I'll double check if that was shipped out for her. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. Sweet. Thanks, guys. All right, thank you, guys. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.